Superstar J taking over the airwaves on Shade 45 Sirius Satellite Radio. You know what it is, Superstar J VIP Saturdays got something special in here. You know, um, I've seen her around. Yeah. She's always show love and everything. Thanks. You know what I mean? And um, I've been hearing a lot of good things about her. Mm. And um, I actually heard something that was good that you performed live, and you had like backup dances, and and you had your mm-hmm. whole sh- sh- dang and thing, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I look at you like you really take this seriously. Of course. Yes. So um, understand, right? I want. Wait, you ain't even say my name. Hold yet. on. See, you gotta understand. I know this oh. is new to you. You know what I mean? You out here mm-hmm. with 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 a dude. For me, it is because oh, I'm hot. You. So you know what I mean? When you on that platform, it's very heat. But understand, <laughs> right? I got like 10 million people that listen to me. That's cool with you. That's amazing. That's amazing. See, you 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 had you had a frown because you thought I was trying to stun on you. You know what I mean? Well, I got thirty million people that listen to me. Ooh, woo! that's dope, right? So the extra two million that might not know who Chinese Kitty is, you explain Thanks. yourself. I'm Chinese Kitty from Brooklyn, New York. Booking New York. A uh, female rapper out here just trying to win. You heard? Yes, man. Yeah. A lot of guys lust over you, man. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. It got real quiet real quick. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, they do shit. Well, well, I want to ask you, you know what I mean? Let, let's get into it. What is the weirdest thing that you've seen uh, a person do? Because it could be girls, too. I know girls lust, too. Like, oh, like, like, like something over. weird, like, you know what I mean? Maybe they slid in your DM because I, I don't know. You're verified. I know you're verified. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I'm trying to ask a question. Now, verified, I know people you used to can call people and stuff. On verified, can they still call you or? Uh, not. Nah, I think it's an option you got to take off. I don't think I got that. Yeah, because I ain't got it. Because I be trying to like talk to girls. I'm like, I'm verified. So I don't so know. I don't know why the option is like, I, I'm, I'm trying to look at people. I'm trying to FaceTime and don't do it no more. <laughs> nah, I don't know about so that. So have you had anything weird in your DMs? I know a lot of females do that. you I mean, yeah of course i get all types of weird shit like who don't get dick pics though like wow do, dudes really send dick pics over all day long all day long wow it'd be nasty and and do they show that do they show their whole their face or just yeah their you dick? know what you want to know some crazy this now this is the weird Pause. I, and i'm not talking about anybody's penis so we're gonna get this chinese <laughs> is talking about this <laughs> kitty is talking about this I'm Anyways, Chinese. I'm sorry. Chinese look, kitty. I'm sorry. So, um, somebody sent me a DM, and it was a picture of my face. They printed out a picture of my face, and then was, was you ejaculating. His balls? Uh, yes, ejaculating to it, and then like came on my face. I swear to God. Oh my God! It's so disgusting, man. <laughs> so disgusting. Well, that's PG, man. You know, I don't know we could curse on him, but Jesus. Sorry. You blocked him, huh? Super blocked. Wow. Have you had Super any stalker? Black. Like, have you watched? I know you're, you're you're young. Have you ever seen the Players Club? Of course. Have you seen the time when he was when the guy went to the house? Was like, oh, you. Yeah, no, like that's for real. Like people is like mad creepy, but I I never had like a real life stalker. But I did have one time somebody DM me my address. Oh my god! Or my man. mom's address at the time. Oh wow! And it was like a fake anonymous page. It was so weird. very scary, huh? I mean, yeah. That's scary. I mean, address. Yeah. But you know these iPhones, man, they can really get everything, you know what I mean? I know. So you got to be, like, very uh, uh, careful with that. Now, I've known you from the bartending game. Yeah. Yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. The bartending game. I think shout out to Rhetoric Doe in the building, a legendary guy here, man. You know what I mean? Legendary. He he ain't hire me, you know, so... Doe, Doe ain't hiring me too, so you know what I mean? Shout out to Doe wherever he's at. You know what I mean? He's somewhere, man. Anybody that know Rhetoric Doe, add him and, and curse him out in his DMs. Facts. He's Super always with like a out. couple of rappers and shit, you know what I mean? But Facts. now, what made you do bartending? Um, So, you know, at first I was dancing. I used to dance at Sue's. And then um, it's crazy because one of my uncles, and I had moved to Atlanta, I started dancing in there or whatever. And one of my uncles seen me there was like, hell no, you're not doing this. This is whack. This is your real uncle? Uh, No, one of my dad's friends. So okay. He was like, nah, out of respect for your dad, for your pops, like, mm-hmm. You gonna work? You gonna bartend? Uh, if you gonna be doing this nightclub shit? So I was like, "Well, I'm not a uh, Bernese. I'm not Gracie. I had no followers. I had nothing. Like I wasn't even thinking about none of that." You, just, like, you was just a kid. I was just a 18 year old just doing my thing. So he was like, "Nah, we you gonna have to do that." So and he's one of the people that just bully his way in no matter what. So okay. He's like, no, I'm gonna talk to this nigga NYCD, and you gonna work at uh, Starlet. So I was. I'm like, trying to figure out who is this guy. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. To, I might know him. I don't know. 
Maybe. <laughs> I might know, but yeah, He's so. from Brooklyn, yeah. Anyways, um, so I'm like, I don't know. You, you know, I don't got no fo- I think I had like probably like 8,000 followers at the time, like nothing too crazy. I don't even Somebody know. Somebody sitting there like, motherfucker, 8,000 followers <laughs> is a lot for the average person. <laughs> you just said that shit like it's eight. Um, I, you, That's true. That's true. But anyway, so I'm like, okay. So then I end up working at Starlet's for the first time. And then, you know, they wasn't really feeling me. I had no nothing i was skinny like mm-hmm. whatever so i had to work my way to get there and then you know after a while i ain't gonna front you came out of nowhere exactly like it was like chinese kid but you had a your name now how did you get your name i made that name a long time ago you know i'm half asian and then you know people say i resemble a cat so i've been had that so so it wasn't because you was asian it was, you just rep you know because china's a big no i am okay. half, i'm half chinese I know that, but you just said you. Some people said you look like a uh, like a cat, and yeah, you know? that's why I put the kitty. All I, right. but my everyone's. I've been called kitty since I was like fifteen years old. Oh wow! Yeah. So how much uh, how much did you make bartending? What was the most you ever made? Oh, I think my birthday I made like. I don't know. I'm not going to say no numbers, but I made a lot of you money. You don't even do it no more. Tell it. Let, come nah, on. This because, could go viral. Nah, I don't know. You're not going to never bartend again. I mean. I'm not. So tell them. I'm you probably not. been spent that. I don't know. I made a lot of money. <laughs> Man, tell them how much you, how much you made your birthday. Uh, probably like 15000 20000 That's not a lot. See? That's what I was going to say. You was going to say that's lying. not a lot. I think you're lying. I'm I not think. lying. 20000 No, nah, I ain't making no 20000 I made like fifteen. All right, well, tax purposes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, let's get into a record now. Let, let's get into a record that you feel put you on the map. Um, I feel like, you know, my, my first song was on me, but I did a remix to Plug Walk, and it was called Kitty Walk, and I feel like that really got everybody's attention. Oh, word? I think that's where everybody was like, oh, nah, she's hard. Like, she's she bodied that. Can, can you do the opening verse? Do you still remember it? Yeah, so it's like, had the cutter off, um, fake. I can curse. Yeah, you just said <laughs> you just told about a nigga ejaculating. You just, you you just like, say you can't curse. Okay, look, had to cut her off. Mm, fake bitch ran down on the hoe. I ain't even let the bitch talk. I ain't even let the bitch talk. Ow, <laughs> kitty walk. Facts. So introduce that record. No, you got to introduce it. No, okay, that's Kitty Walk by Chinese Kitty, but we on some, some new shit. I'm yeah, but we introducing Kitty. that. Let's introduce that record. All right, this is my remix of Plug Walk. It's called Kitty Walk. Meow. Let's get it. You know what it is, Superstar JVIP Saturdays. Got Chinese Kitty in this motherfucker. What's Meow. up? What's popping? Now, um, you know, congratulations. I know you, you've had a baby. Yes. You know what I mean? I did. Now, how, does it, how did it change your life? He made me thicker. Okay. Uh, I didn't <laughs> think that answer was going to come out. Give me a better answer than that. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But nah, like seriously, it made me more humble and like understand life a little bit better being a mom. Because it's like before I was just doing wild shit, whatever I wanted to do. Oh, God. Whatever I wanted to do. Like literally I had no feelings towards anybody. But now like being a mom is like. You know, I gotta go through trials and tribulations. Like yeah, you can't does. really go out when you want to go out no more. Mm, I be going out, but it's like for certain purposes. But not that's that won't really hold me back though, because I got a lot of support. Okay, big family. So facts. He just he, your, your son just you know represents right in there. So how, how big is your family? Well, my grandmother, my great grandmother, has seventeen kids. So Damn, I have uh, seventeen aunts and uncles, and they're all still alive. Wow. Well, one died because she had like a heart attack, but yeah. Wow, you have seventeen aunts and uncles. Mm-hmm. And then they all have kids, and they all have kids. So I got like, I have uncles that's younger than me. Wow. Mm-hmm. Do they go out with you? Are you close to them? Um, I'm close with all my family, but not really go out with them, nah. Okay. Yeah. Are they are they super Chinese or? Um, that's actually my Guyanese side. So. Oh shit, my yeah. Guyanese. What's your favorite <laughs> Guyanese dish? Pepper pot. Pepper pot. Now, mm-hmm. what the hell is a pepper pot? Pepper pot is something that Guyanese people, only Guyanese people, cook on special occasions. Guyanese women are very crazy too. <laughs> Yes, I dated a Yo. Guyanese woman, and y'all are very touchy touchy. I don't know. I went to a party, and brothers and sisters was dancing with each other. They were bumping and grinding. I yeah. didn't know what the fuck was going I on. I think that's weird too that my family does that, but I don't. Yeah, I was I, I was kind of weirded out because uh, uh, I'm done. Her brother was like really like 
grinding on her. And I was just okay. Like, I don't know. Maybe they was just a little weird because I don't know about brothers and sisters. I know about cousins. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what you said pepper pot, pot? Mm-hmm. what is it? Now, what is that? What does it contain? <sighs> it's like, it takes like two days to cook it. So wow. That's why they only make it on special occasions. But what is it? What is it? It's like they boil. It's an animal or something? No. Honestly, I really don't know what's inside of it. I just know my grandmother takes two days to cook it. But it's like, basically. Fucking body in that shit. No. <laughs> it's like a spice and they have like water and it boils and like something needs to be left out left out so it can spoil so then it has that spoil yeah so it has a certain taste like this like tangy sweet taste but not spoil where you're gonna throw up but like it has to like turn into this taste yeah and you eat it with bread so yeah oh wow that's that's kind of crazy so yeah okay (laughs) can you cook i can cook i can most definitely what's your favorite what's your what's your best dish that you can cook uh spaghetti spaghetti (laughs) yeah it's kind of basic right there. What, so, do you put, what do you put in the What do you put in the spaghetti? Um, I put pasta sauce. Add a little bit of salt. I, I mean, not salt. I'll add a little bit of sugar just to give make it a little sweet. Uh oh, the Chinese kitty away. I'm weak. <laughs> yeah, Chinese <laughs> kitty way, but yeah. What type of meat? You do turkey. Do ground turkey. Ground turkey. Mm-hmm. So Chinese kitty can cook, y'all. You know what I mean? Yes, she, I can. She can. She can dish it out. Now let's talk about this new record that you got. Facts. Now, what's this record? Now, tell me about it. All right, this record is, it got a uh, L.A. vibe to it. Not even L.A., it got a West Coast vibe to it. Okay. It's very like, yeah. Oh, shit. It make you want to uh, crip walk or anything, any of those L.A. dances. I, don't I see I see you, like, in the, I don't know if that was the video, but you was, like, dancing in a pool or some shit? Yeah. It. Was that I'm, the record? Yeah, that's it. Okay. It's called Hit Stick. Hit Stick. Now, what, what does Hit Stick mean? Um... Um, basically, like, you know. <laughs> All right, come on, you can curse. I mean, like, a hit stick, like, so basically I'm saying hop up on that wood like it's a hit stick, but it's like, you know, like a dick, like, you know. Like, okay, so you hopping on you something. You hit that, yeah. All right. Well, I didn't know, you know what I mean? So introduce <laughs> this record. I it's my new single I just dropped. It's called Hit Stick, and I'm debuting here with Superstar J. Yeah. Oh, shit, Can I feel you? special, you heard? Let's get it. You know what it is, Superstar J VIP Saturdays. Got my motherfucking family in here. You know, she's my cousin because she said cousins like they don't give a fuck. They just rubbing on each other anyway. So she's my cousin, Chinese kitty, and this motherfucker. What's up? What's popping? Now I want to ask you. you know, you did the love and hip hop thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, um, you know, it's big platform there. Mm-hmm. Are you coming back? No. Why? Mm, uh, I just don't think it's for me, for real. Like, um. Not to, you know, I just don't think I'm a, a reality person. Like, I don't, have, I, don't, I don't have, I don't, I don't know how to be controlled. I don't know how someone can tell me that I have to perform a certain way. I don't, I don't know how somebody has to tell me that I have to cry to certain things. Or if I, if I don't think something is funny that I should have been laughing or like, if I should have been fighting, like, then mm-hmm. why you ain't react the way that you should be acting, jumping up and down. So this is Miami right here. Yeah. So. Okay, now, so you're saying it's more scripted for you and it's more It's not that it's Miami? scripted. It's just that, like, basically the people that react, like, you know, let's say something happened and somebody wants to jump across the table, oh, then that's the main star. But, see, I'm I'm not like that. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's why I said I don't think reality TV is necessarily for me. So I just don't really want to do it. Okay, well, I, I liked you on there. Is your mother going to still be on there? No. All right, so you're taking the whole family. It's, it's over. Yeah, it's a fact. All right, well, I want to ask you before you leave, because I see people trying to get you out of here. You get, you, you're kind of popular now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why? What separates you from the female rap? Um, I think what separates me is, you know, I can't really, like, you know, compare myself to nobody. I can't say I'm doing anything better than anybody else. I just know what I'm doing, and I know that I want to stay focused on what I got going on. And you can't, you know, look at your competition or you can't look at what this person's doing. I just really want to stay focused. And the main thing about me is consistency and going hard and going strong and, you know, not just making it one way and feeling like I'm I'm it, just staying humble and just keeping at what I want to do best. And this is music, so. I love it, man. Chinese Kitty. Now, before we leave, give me a record. I want to play an exclusive record. All right, cool. Um, so, you know, everybody's um, busting it open to Tatiana. So I hopped on a remix. It's called Kittyana. Kittyana? Fire. 
I think I got the most fire remix, to be honest, but okay. Well, introduce it, Kitty Yana. Yeah, Kitty Yana just dropped that like a month ago. So, um, yeah, that's what it is. Check that out. Let's get it. <laughs> 